The time value of money is the greater benefit of receiving money now rather than later. It is founded on time preference. The time value of money explains why interest is paid or earned. Interest, whether it is on a bank deposit or debt, compensates the depositor or lender for the time value of money. It also underlies investment. Investors are willing to forego spending their money now only if they expect a favorable return on their investment in the future, such that the increased value to be available later is sufficiently high to offset the preference to have money now. History The Talmud tilde 500 CE recognizes the time value of money. In Tractate Makos page 3a the Talmud discusses a case where witnesses falsely claimed that the term of a loan was 30 days when it was actually 10 years. The false witnesses must pay the difference of the value of the loan. In a situation where he would be required to give the money back within 30 days, and that same sum in a situation where he would be required to give the money back within 10 years. The difference is the sum that the testimony of the false witnesses sought to have the borrower lose, therefore, it is the sum that they must pay. The notion was later described by Martin de Ospilcata of the School of Salamanca. Calculations Time value of money problems involve the net value of cash flows at different points in time. In a typical case, the variables might be, a balance the real or nominal value of a debt or a financial asset in terms of monetary units, a periodic rate of interest, the number of periods, and a series of cash flows. In the case of a debt, cash flows are payments against principal and interest. In the case of a financial asset, these are contributions to or withdrawals from the balance. More generally, the cash flows may not be periodic but may be specified individually. Any of these variables may be the independent variable the sought for answer in a given problem. For example, one may know that the interest is 0.5% per period per month, say, the number of periods is 60 months, the initial balance of the debt, in this case, is 25,000 units, and the final balance is 0 units. The unknown variable may be the monthly payment that the borrower must pay. For example, £100 invested for one year, earning 5% interest, will be worth £105 after one year, therefore, £100 paid now and £105 paid exactly one year later both have the same value to a recipient who expects 5% interest assuming that inflation would be 0%. That is, £100 invested for one year at 5% interest has a future value of £105 under the assumption that inflation would be 0%. This principle allows for the valuation of a likely stream of income in the future, in such a way that annual incomes are discounted and then added together, thus providing a lump sum present value of the entire income stream. All of the standard calculations for time value of money derive from the most basic algebraic expression for the present value of a future sum discounted to the present by an amount equal to the time value of money. For example, the future value sum f v to be received in one year is discounted at the rate of interest r to give the present value sum p v p v p V equals F V one plus R display style P V equals F R A C F V one plus R. Some standard calculations based on the time value of money are present value, the current worth of a future sum of money or stream of cash flows, given a specified rate of return. Future cash flows are discounted. At the discount rate, the higher the discount rate, the lower the present value of the future cash flows. Determining the appropriate discount rate is the key to valuing future cash flows properly, whether they be earnings or obligations. Present value of an annuity. An annuity is a series of equal payments or receipts that occur at evenly spaced intervals. Leases and rental payments are examples. 
The payments or receipts occur at the end of each period for an ordinary annuity while they occur at the beginning of each period for an annuity due. Present value of a perpetuity is an infinite and constant stream of identical cash flows. Future value, the value of an asset or cash at a specified date in the future, based on the value of that asset in the present. Future value of an annuity FVA, the future value of a stream of payments annuity. Assuming the payments are invested at a given rate of interest, there are several basic equations that represent the equalities listed above. The solutions may be found using in most cases, the formulas, a financial calculator or a spreadsheet. The formulas are programmed into most financial calculators and several spreadsheet functions such as PV, FV, rate, NPER, and PMT. For any of the equations below, the formula may also be rearranged to determine one of the other unknowns. In the case of the standard annuity formula, there is no closed form algebraic solution for the interest rate, although financial calculators and spreadsheet programs can readily determine solutions through rapid trial and error algorithms. These equations are frequently combined for particular uses. For example, bonds can be readily priced using these equations. A typical coupon bond is composed of two types of payments, a stream of coupon payments similar to an annuity, and a lump sum return of capital at the end of the bond's maturity, that is, a future payment. The two formulas can be combined to determine the present value of the bond. An important note is that the interest rate I is the interest rate for the relevant period. For an annuity that makes one payment per year, I will be the annual interest rate. For an income or payment stream with a different payment schedule, the interest rate must be converted into the relevant periodic interest rate. For example, a monthly rate for a mortgage with monthly payments requires that the interest rate be divided by 12 see the example below. See compound interest for details on converting between different periodic interest rates. The rate of return in the calculations can be either the variable solved for, or a predefined variable that measures a discount rate, interest, inflation, rate of return, cost of equity, cost of debt or any number of other analogous concepts. The choice of the appropriate rate is critical to the exercise, and the use of an incorrect discount rate will make the results meaningless. For calculations involving annuities, you must decide whether the payments are made at the end of each period known as an ordinary annuity, or at the beginning of each period known as an annuity due. If you are using a financial calculator or a spreadsheet, you can usually set it for either calculation. The following formulas are for an ordinary annuity. If you want the answer for the present value of an annuity due, you can simply multiply the PV of an ordinary annuity by 1 plus I. Formula The following formula use these common variables PV is the value at time equals zero present value FV is the value at time equals n future value A is the value of the individual payments in each compounding period N is the number of periods not necessarily an integer I is the interest rate at which the amount compounds each period G is the growing rate of payments over each time period. Topic: <inaudible> Future value of a present sum. The future value FV formula is similar and uses the same variables. F V equals P V 1 plus I N display style FV equals PV CDOT one plus I carrot N topic present value of a future sum the present value formula is the core formula for the time value of money each of the other formulae is derived from this formula for example the annuity formula is the sum of a series of present value calculations the present value PV formula has four variables, each of which can be solved for by numerical methods. P V equals F V one plus I N display style PV equals frac FV one plus I caret N. 
The cumulative present value of future cash flows can be calculated by summing the contributions of F V T, the value of cash flow at time t P V equals T equals one N F V T one plus I T Display style P V equals sum underscore T equals one carrot N F R A C F V underscore T one plus I carrot T Note that this series can be summed for a given value of N, or when N is infinity. This is a very general formula, which leads to several important special cases given below. Topic. Present value of an annuity for n payment periods In this case the cash flow values remain the same throughout the n periods. The present value of an annuity PVA formula has four variables, each of which can be solved for by numerical methods P V A equals A I 1 minus 1 1 plus i n display style pv a equals frac a i c d o t left 1 frac 1 left 1 plus i right caret n right to get the pv of an annuity due multiply the above equation by 1 plus i topic Present value of a growing annuity In this case each cash flow grows by a factor of 1 plus g. Similar to the formula for an annuity, the present value of a growing annuity PVGA uses the same variables with the addition of g as the rate of growth of the annuity A as the annuity payment in the first period. This is a calculation that is rarely provided for on financial calculators. Where i does not equal g P V A equals A I minus G one minus one plus G one plus I N Display style PV o equals a over I G left one left one plus G over one plus I right carrot N right where I equals G P V A equals a times N one plus I display style PV a equals a times N over one plus I to get the PV of a growing annuity due, multiply the above equation by 1 plus i. Topic. Present value of a perpetuity A perpetuity is payments of a set amount of money that occur on a routine basis and continue forever. When n infinity, the PV of a perpetuity a perpetual annuity formula becomes a simple division. P V P equals A I display style P V P equals a over I. Topic: Present value of a growing perpetuity when the perpetual annuity payment grows at a fixed rate g, with g P V A equals A I minus g display style P V A equals a over I g. In practice, there are few securities with precise characteristics, and the application of this valuation approach is subject to various qualifications and modifications. Most importantly, it is rare to find a growing perpetual annuity with fixed rates of growth and true perpetual cash flow generation. Despite these qualifications, the general approach may be used in valuations of real estate, equities, and other assets. This is the well-known Gordon growth model used for stock valuation. Topic: <laughs> Future value of an annuity. The future value after n periods of an annuity FVA formula has four variables, each of which can be solved for by numerical methods. F V 
a equals a 1 plus i n minus 1 i display style f v a equals a c d o t f r a c left 1 plus i right caret n minus 1 i to get the fv of an annuity due, multiply the above equation by 1 plus i. Topic: <laughs> Future value of a growing annuity. The future value after n periods of a growing annuity FVA formula has 5 variables, each of which can be solved for by numerical methods. Where i does not equal g f v a equals a 1 plus i n minus 1 plus g n i minus g Display style F V a equals a C D O T F R A C left one plus I right carrot N left one plus G right carrot N I G where I equals G F V A equals a N one plus I N minus one Display style F V a equals a C D O T N one plus I carrot N one. Topic Formula table. The following table summarizes the different formulas commonly used in calculating the time value of money. These values are often displayed in tables where the interest rate and time are specified. Notes. A is a fixed payment amount, every period G is the initial payment amount of an increasing payment amount, that starts at G and increases by G for each subsequent period. D is the initial payment amount of an exponentially geometrically increasing payment amount, that starts at D and increases by a factor of 1 plus G each subsequent period. Derivations. Topic: Annuity derivation. The formula for the present value of a regular stream of future payments and annuity is derived from a sum of the formula for future value of a single future payment, as below, where c is the payment amount and n the period. A single payment c at future time m has the following future value at future time n. F v equals c. 1 plus i n minus m display style fv equals c 1 plus i caret nm summing over all payments from time 1 to time n then reversing t f v a equals m equals 1 n c 1 plus i n minus m equals k equals 0 n minus 1 c 1 plus i k Display style F V A equals sum underscore M equals one carrot N C one plus I carrot N M equals sum underscore K equals zero carrot N one C one plus I carrot K Note that this is a geometric series, with the initial value being equals C, the multiplicative factor being one plus I, with N terms. Applying the formula for geometric series, we get F V A equals c 1 minus 1 plus i n 1 minus 1 plus i equals c 
1 minus 1 plus i n minus i display style fva equals frac c 1 1 plus i caret n 1 1 plus i equals frac c 1 1 plus i caret n i the present value of the annuity PVA is obtained by simply dividing by 1 plus i n display style 1 plus i caret n p v a equals f v a 1 plus i n equals C I 1 minus 1 1 plus I n display style PVA equals frac FVA 1 plus I carrot n equals frac C I left 1 frac 1 1 plus I carrot n right Another simple and intuitive way to derive the future value of an annuity is to consider an endowment, whose interest is paid as the annuity, and whose principal remains constant. The principal of this hypothetical endowment can be computed as that whose interest equals the annuity payment amount. Principal times I equals C display style text principal times I equals C principal equals C I plus G O A L display style text principal equals C I plus goal. Note that no money enters or leaves the combined system of endowment principal plus accumulated annuity payments, and thus the future value of this system can be computed simply via the future value formula. F V equals P V one plus I N display style F V equals P V one plus I carrot N. Initially, before any payments, the present value of the system is just the endowment principal. P V equals C I display style P V equals C I. At the end, the future value is the endowment principal, which is the same, plus the future value of the total annuity payments. F V equals C I plus F V A. Display style F V equals C I plus F V A. Plugging this back into the equation, C I plus f v a equals c i 1 plus i n display style frac c i plus f v a equals frac c i 1 plus i caret n f v a equals c I one plus I N minus one display style F V A equals F R A C C I left left one plus I right carrot N minus one right topic perpetuity derivation Without showing the formal derivation here, the perpetuity formula is derived from the annuity formula. Specifically, the term 1 minus 1 1 plus i n display style left 1 1 over 1 plus i caret n right can be seen to approach the value of 1 as n grows larger. At infinity, it is equal to 1, leaving C I display style C over I as the only term remaining.
Topic: Continuous compounding. Rates are sometimes converted into the continuous compound interest rate equivalent because the continuous equivalent is more convenient, for example, more easily differentiated. Each of the formulae above may be restated in their continuous equivalents. For example, the present value at time 0 of a future payment at time t can be restated in the following way, where e is the base of the natural logarithm and r is the continuously compounded rate. PV equals FV E minus R T display style text P V equals text F V C D O T E caret R T. This can be generalized to discount rates that vary over time. Instead of a constant discount rate R, one uses a function of time R T. In that case, the discount factor and thus the present value of a cash flow at time T is given by the integral of the continuously compounded rate R T. PV equals FV EXP minus zero T R T D T display style text PV equals text FV CDOT EXP left in underscore zero carrot T R T D T right Indeed, a key reason for using continuous compounding is to simplify the analysis of varying discount rates and to allow one to use the tools of calculus. Further, for interest accrued and capitalized overnight, hence compounded daily, continuous compounding is a close approximation for the actual daily compounding. More sophisticated analysis includes the use of differential equations, as detailed below. Topic. Examples. Using continuous compounding yields the following formulas for various instruments. Annuity P V equals a 1 minus E minus R T E R minus 1 Display style P V equals a one E carrot R T over E carrot R minus one Perpetuity P V equals A E R minus one Display style P V equals a over E carrot R minus one Growing annuity P V equals a E minus G one minus E minus R minus G T R minus G minus one Display style P V equals A carrot G one E carrot R G T over carrot R G minus one Growing perpetuity P V equals A E minus G E R minus G minus one Display style P V equals A carrot G over E carrot R G minus one Annuity with continuous payments P V equals one minus E minus R T R Display style P V equals one E carrot R T over R these formulas assume that payment A is made in the first payment period and annuity ends at time T. Topic differential equations Ordinary and partial differential equations ODES and PDEs equations involving derivatives and one respectively, multiple variables are ubiquitous in more advanced treatments of financial mathematics. While time value of money can be understood without using the framework of differential equations, the added sophistication sheds additional light on time value, and provides a simple introduction before considering more complicated and less familiar situations. 
This exposition follows Carr and Flesacre 2006, pp. 6-7. The fundamental change that the differential equation perspective brings is that rather than computing a number the present value now one computes a function the present value now or at any point in future this function may then be analyzed how does its value change over time or compared with other functions formally the statement that value decreases over time is given by defining the linear differential operator l display style math call l as l equals minus t plus r t display style math call l equals partial underscore t plus r t this states that values decreases minus over time t at the discount rate r t Applied to a function it yields, LF equals minus TF T plus R T F T display style math call LF equals partial underscore T F T plus R T F T. For an instrument whose payment stream is described by F T, the value V T satisfies the inhomogeneous first order owed L V equals F Display style math call L V equals F. Inhomogeneous is because one has F rather than zero, and first order is because one has first derivatives but no higher derivatives. This encodes the fact that when any cash flow occurs, the value of the instrument changes by the value of the cash flow. If you receive a ten pounds coupon, the remaining value decreases by exactly ten pounds. The standard technique tool in the analysis of ODES is Green's functions, from which other solutions can be built. In terms of time value of money, the Green's function for the time value owed is the value of a bond paying one pound at a single point in time u. The value of any other stream of cash flows can then be obtained by taking combinations of this basic cash flow. In mathematical terms, this instantaneous cash flow is modeled as a Dirac delta function. Delta u T equals delta T minus U display style delta underscore U T equals delta T U. The Green's function for the value at time T of a one pound cash flow at time U is B T U equals H U minus T exp minus t u r v d v display style b t u equals h u t c d o t exp left int underscore t caret u r v d v right where h is the heavy side step function the notation u display style u is to emphasize that u is a parameter fixed in any instance the time when the cash flow will occur while t is a variable time in other words future cash flows are exponentially discounted exp by the sum integral display style text style int of the future discount rates tu display style text style int underscore t caret u for future rv for discount rates while past cash flows are worth 0 h u minus t equals 1 if tu 0 if t greater than u display style h u t equals 1 text if 2 because they have already occurred Note that the value at the moment of a cash flow is not well defined, there is a discontinuity at that point, and one can use a convention assume cash flows have already occurred, or not already occurred, or simply not define the value at that point. In case the discount rate is constant, r v r, display style r v, equiv r, this simplifies to be t u equals h u minus t e minus u minus t r equals e minus u minus t r t u zero t greater than u, display style b t u equals h u t c d o t e caret u t r equals begin cases e caret u t r and two end cases where u minus t display style u t is time rem remaining until cash flow. Thus for a stream of cash flows f u ending by time t which can be set to t equals plus infinity display style t equals plus in t for no time horizon the value at time t v t t display style v t t is given by combining the values of these individual cash flows 
v t t equals t t f u b t u d u Display style v t t equals int underscore t caret t f u b t u do. This formalizes time value of money to future values of cash flows with varying discount rates, and is the basis of many formulas in financial mathematics, such as the black scholes formula with varying interest rates. Topic. See also. Actuarial science Discounted cash flow Earnings growth Exponential growth Finance Hyperbolic discounting Internal rate of return Net present value Option time value Real versus nominal value Notes <laughs>